have some facts here that I want to share with our viewers at home and would love for both of you to chime in. And these are some of the statistics that we have in this country and how diabetes affects 30 million people in the U.S. today. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, it's, it's rampant. It's practically one out of every three to four individuals who have diabetes or prediabetes, which is also an abnormal state, even though it isn't in the diagnostic category mm -hmm. yet. But that's the sad part, that so many people are diagnosed once they already develop complications, like you see on here, having a kidney problem, having a, an amputation, having vision problems. So what we want to be able to do is find people with newly diagnosed diabetes or those who are impending mm -hmm. diagnosis of diabetes called prediabetes so that we can prevent some of these horrible complications. What, mm -hmm. what's, uh, what makes up prediabetes? You, you said that term and how would you even know that you're prediabetic? Most often you don't unless okay. you actually have a blood test for it. Okay. And you can test two ways. You can either do a blood test called fasting blood sugar, which is done first thing in the morning, which only gives you a partial picture. Then you can do a blood test two hours after eating a balanced meal, or you can do a test called an A1C, which is a test, just a simple blood test, but it measures the average blood glucose you have had over three months. So it's an incredible test. And um, actually having a combination of these various tests are the best way right to rule out either the diagnosis or pre-diabetes.